Good afternoon from London and hello from me, Dr Dermot Hudson, the Chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Duce Idea, Chairman of the UK Korean Friendship Association and Official Delegate of the Korean Friendship Association for the UK and also President of the uh, Association for the Study of Sungan Politics UK. Today I'm going to address uh, the subject of propaganda and disinformation about supporters of People's Korea. And of course uh, the Korean Friendship Association uh, is first and foremost among the supporters of uh, People's Korea because it uh, does what it says on the tin and uh, defends the Democratic People's Republic of Korea with no ifs or uh, buts and in fact uh, as some people say uh, almost defends the DPRK 24-7 uh, so it be uh, becomes a target uh, for attacks by the mainstream media now of course uh, the propaganda uh, against People's Korea as I've remarked before is on an industrial scale uh, it's almost every hour almost every minute and uh, from a variety of media you know you've got the internet you've got social media uh, you've also uh, got the uh, printed media television radio and uh, whatever and they're all spewing out uh, lies and rubbish about people's career and trying to demonize the country and uh, stop people uh, finding out the truth about the achievements of Duce socialism in people's career and uh, as I say this is done uh, quite deliberately and uh, it also extends to those people who uh, defend people's career uh, organizations uh, such as the Korean French Association and you know this uh, kind of propaganda is is at times most intense and you know we've had more than our fair share of it and in fact you know uh, people who support the DPRK are treated uh, uh, very uh, roughly uh, to put it mildly by the media uh, you know it treated like uh, you know how the far right is uh, treated or uh, you know people who support this uh, QAnon uh, stuff you, you know it's uh, very very bad indeed and you know it's uh, quite terrible uh, that uh, you know working for peace working for friendship uh, working to spread uh, an advanced and progressive ideology uh, the Duce idea uh, is being demonised uh, and indeed uh, criminalised. And I would add, uh, we've also seen, uh, uh, you know, uh, different acts of uh, suppression uh, against the supporters of uh, people's career on uh, social media. Uh, for example, uh, the deletion of pro DPRK YouTube channels by uh, diff, uh, by uh, Google and uh, also uh, attempts to uh, restrict uh, Facebook pages and accounts uh, and uh, you know also on Twitter with accounts being uh, uh, deleted, suspended or, or blocked and uh, you know uh, in my own case you know I can speak as someone who was even victimised at uh, my own workplace uh, nearly uh, some seven years ago. And this was because of um, an article in the Rupert Murdoch-owned uh, Sunday Times, uh, which ran an article on my, uh, my support for the DPRK and uh, my work in the Korean French Association, uh, and unfortunately, it did identify the uh, name of the employer that I worked for, and uh, I was subjected to 
uh, very heavy victimization indeed had to go uh, for about uh, five uh, different meetings you know I was interrogated in detail uh, about my relationship with the DPRK and uh, KFA you know how many times uh, you know I'd been to the DPRK embassy and this kind of thing and I was uh, uh, told uh, that being an official delegate for the Korean French Association uh, wasn't compatible uh, with being employed in the agency at any level can you imagine it you know even if I, I was a cleaner or you know uh, a tea boy uh, which you know the uh, agency hadn't had for many years but you know I was told you know you know it wasn't compatible uh, with being employed at any level and you know I had no choice uh, but uh, to you know leave the agent uh, agency you know loss of income uh, you know money money off my pension and lump sum and this this is the kind of uh, malice uh, that those who speak up for people's career uh, face and since then you know there's been other media attacks on KFA and supporters of uh, people's career you know there's been quite a sustain, sustained effort uh, to basically take down and uh, shut up uh, KFA and we've seen this in recent uh, years and uh, you know in the last uh, I think two or three years there's been quite a few uh, media attacks on uh, KFA uh, you, you know uh, myself and UK KFA were gravely and criminally slandered uh, by the uh, CIA front website uh, NK News and people please do not think that they are independent and neutral uh, you know they they are you know heavily manipulated by the cia and the south korean national intelligence service and uh, you know they are they basically speak for the military industrial complex in both uh the usa and south korea and indeed uh some of their funding comes from the u.s department of uh, Def uh, defense and the u.s army uh pacific uh, command you know this uh you know this has been uh, demonstrated uh, by uh, some researchers on twitter and uh, you know they uh, nk news carried a, a very uh, vitriolic article on on uk kfa which was subsequently uh repeated in uh, some uh, media outlets uh, in the UK and uh, they illegally used the uh, images of UK KFA members uh, in, in these media attacks and because the point of it is is to try and get uh, KFA members uh, sacked from their jobs uh, dismissed from their workplaces victimized and you know it's an attempt to try and uh, drive uh, KFA underground now our good comrades in uh, staffordshire uh, branch of the korean french association asked me uh, to comment about uh, a certain uh, nasty film that was uh, run uh, by the bbc and uh, 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 tv networks in in a number of countries uh, which was made by a a couple of uh, Danish idiots uh, and uh, you know supposedly they say oh you know it was undercover in North Korea you know that they'd infiltrated the DP DPRK but in actual fact uh, they didn't uh, infiltrate uh, the DPRK apart from uh, you know some footage in the film uh, what they did do was to infiltrate the Korean French Association and the uh, Denmark DPRK Association. That's uh, what they did. Uh, you know, they uh, infiltrated uh, over a long period, over 10 years, 
uh, a legitimate democratic uh, solidarity and cultural organisation. And this is a real scandal that, you know, someone should be called uh, to account for. Uh, you know, involved uh, a lot of uh, dishonesty uh, in, indeed. And, uh, you know, I think there should be uh, a full in investigation uh, into, you know, uh, why uh, this uh, was done, you know, who sanctioned the operation, who paid for it, you know. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say what is behind it because the intention... Uh, is very clear it is to sort of demonise the Korean French Association, make false accusations against the uh, KFA, uh, and yeah, you know, uh, to tr basically try and shut down the KFA. The, this was uh, the purpose of uh, the uh, film. Uh, you know, no, uh, there was no two ways. Uh, about it, uh, you know, the uh, per individual uh, in it, uh, you know, the uh, main uh, uh, character, well, I think, uh, you know, the jury is out on as whether he was uh, actually a professional Danish intelligence uh, officer or possibly uh, someone contracted by uh, one or several uh, intelligence services uh, or possibly an actor or possibly from uh, a private uh, detective a agency uh, but you know he's uh, the, the whole uh, uh, premise uh, uh, presented in the uh, film is uh, totally unbelievable uh, you know that you know uh, that this character was a unemployed chef who decided one day he would infiltrate uh, KFA. Now, who can believe uh, such a thing? Uh, you know, it's uh, beyond uh, belief, really. Uh, and the the fact is, you know, if uh, if he was an amateur uh, infiltrator, he would have uh, given up after one or two years, or even uh, become converted. Uh, to the cause of the KFA and to the cause of uh, Duce. You know, this person uh, must uh, clearly be a sort of hard-bitten professional agent, uh, or, as say, possibly uh, an actor. Uh, the, you know, and again, you know, the film uh, uh, basically used footage of KFA members at... Uh, uh, KFA international meetings uh, without the permission or consent of uh, you know of the KFA members including myself I did not uh, give uh, uh, my consent to uh, appear in the film that's a fact uh, and I mean one, one of the tricks this character got up to was uh, to uh, pester us to organise a KFA picket of the BBC in uh, London because now we uh, regard this as uh, an entrapment operation. As say, uh, he gave the uh, reason, uh, I said to him, well, can't you organise such a thing in Denmark? And he, he said it was impossible to... Uh, and, it, you know, only we could organise it in London. But, you know, he clearly, uh, you know, was trying to set us up, uh, you know, so he could uh, film uh, the uh, picket and use the uh, coverage, uh, you know, in in a film. And, uh, you know, there's so, uh, you know, so much rubbish in, in the film. I mean, I don't like uh, to draw uh, attention uh, to it, uh, you know, we would point out that, uh, you know, it's absolutely ridiculous uh, that, uh, uh, you know, KFA would have any involvement in uh, uh, with the uh, arms industry in the DPRK. Our partner is the Korean Committee for Cultural Relations, uh, 
and you know that has absolutely no connection uh, with the uh, arm, armaments industry in the DPRK, which uh, would be actually ring fence, which would be abs uh, absolutely a top a secret and high security, and which foreigners would not uh, have uh, access to. But, you know, in the film, you've got this uh, scene which is really in a karaoke bar, because that's what it is. Uh, it's a karaoke bar of a at a uh, workplace, uh, you know, where they uh, go and, uh, you know, meet some uh, officials from uh, the DPRK uh, Committee for Cultural Relations with uh, foreign countries. And they are handed, you know, uh, what, what are really menus for... Uh, food however you know the film tries to pretend that it's uh, really arms catalogues and we uh, see uh, you know what are supposedly uh, arms catalogues but it's absolute uh, nonsense because uh, they use words like skud uh, which is a Russian word a Soviet word and would never be used by uh, the DPRK uh, DPRK would refer to uh, its uh, missiles by Korean names like Rudong and Hwasong. Uh, you know, so, you know, this is uh, clearly a uh, fabrication uh, by uh, this uh, film. Uh, it falsely asserts that, you know, most KFA members are unemployed. Uh, this is not uh, true, or certainly was not true, at the uh, time the uh, film was made and in fact most of the participants in the international meeting all had uh, jobs uh, you know and this is to try and sort of uh, portray uh, the KFA as uh, as you know bas basically a typical extremist organization you know uh, you know trying to you know put uh, impose a certain profile on the organisation that is not real. Uh, in fact, we have members from uh, all walks of life, uh, employed and unemployed, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, we have workers, uh, retired people, some uh, some professionals, uh, you know, some uh, in, in our ranks. And I, I would also like to stress here, uh, you know, they should be... Uh, uh, no shame whatsoever in, in being unemployed. Uh, you know, it is part of life in a capitalist society. And uh, with the uh, recession that's looming, uh, you know, uh, on, on the horizon, uh, you know, the, the, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of unemployed people in, in the capitalist country. So they shouldn't be... Uh, uh, looked down on or uh, despised in any way but uh, you know clearly the makers of uh, this uh, you know film uh, you know clearly uh, you know do have the sort of bourgeois mentality that you know unemployment is some kind of sin or uh, some kind of uh, personal failure rather than a product of the capitalist system and ironically uh, the uh, protagonist in the film, uh, you know, we're told that, you know, he's an unemployed uh, chef. Uh, uh, but, you know, that sort of begs uh, quite a lot of questions, you know. Uh, surely, uh, you know, the uh, benefits regime in Denmark cannot be that liberal, you know. So uh, uh, why wasn't uh, he investigated by the Danish authorities for been out of work for so long, uh, being able to travel the world, to travel to the DPRK, to Uganda, all across Europe and, and even the US, uh, yet, you know, he was on, on benefits, it, you know, it doesn't add up, uh, you know, it's surprising that he's, uh, uh, you know, he didn't get into trouble with the Danish uh, dole office uh, uh, for, for this, it's all uh, very, it's all very unbelievable, uh, indeed. But you know, this uh, film is very much a fantasy. Uh, you know, may uh, you know, 
it's part of a hit job by Western intelligence agencies, but also at the same time, uh, you know, it's about uh, making money. And uh, lastly, I would say with uh, with regards uh, to uh, the film, uh, it uh, had, uh, you know, smoking guns, uh, yeah, uh, you know, towards the... Uh, showing uh, the involvement of intelligence agents sees in it uh, such as the presence of what was supposed to be a former CIA agent and also uh, celebratory X by Annie Macron uh, the former MI5 agent uh, now you know some people uh, like I believe notes from the borderland and Lobster magazine have alleged that uh, she never really left uh, MI5 uh, and she's certainly not a person, uh, you know, they, in their words, are not a person uh, to be trusted and in fact if you read her stuff, uh, uh, you know, her differences with MI5 were not ideological, uh, they were because uh, uh, she saw MI5 as incompetent and inefficient, uh, you know, so uh, people can draw uh, their own conclusions uh, from that. But, you know, so she was a player in, in this uh, film. And uh, as for the chief protagonist himself, well, uh, you know, when I had uh, the uh, last time I had that, uh, sort of met him, uh, you know, for the KFA International uh, meeting uh, in uh, in Denmark. Uh, he gave the impression of someone uh, who had at one point been in the Danish Armed Forces. And the last thing I will uh, say about the, the film, which I, I forgot to sort of mention before, is that, uh, you know, the... Helltale project was totally uh, his own invention. I was uh, suspicious uh, of it uh, because it never ever been mentioned uh, before. Uh, no one uh, had any knowledge of it and it was suddenly uh, presented at the uh, international meeting and at the time it all it s seemed very strange uh you know and this is something that uh, uh you know he uh, sort of uh fabricated uh to smear the kfa uh so anyway uh you know uh so that's uh, uh an expose of uh, this particular effort at uh, defaming kfa one of uh many it was uh, broadcast by the uh, BBC and, uh, you know, despite uh, protests from uh, UK KFA and we would like to add our voice uh, to the growing uh, movement which cuts across the political spectrum uh, for defunding uh, the BBC. So we say uh, defund uh, the BBC, uh, you know, they tell lies about both uh, uh, the DPRK and uh, KFA. Uh, so, uh, you know, let's uh, stand strong against uh, propaganda, against not just the, the not only the DPRK, but also uh, the supporters and defenders of people's career. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, see you again soon. And uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We're happy to have got over 1,000 uh, people now subscribed. Uh, you know, let's uh, expand that even further. So have a good day and goodbye.